Friends, I bring you greetings from this Lenten journey. As you have heard me say time and again, you cannot rush to Easter Sunday without having made the entire Lenten journey, especially the Holy Week journey. More is said about this week in Jesus' life than any other. It begins with his triumphant entry into Jerusalem and takes us to the cross at Golgotha and finally to the empty tomb. We anticipate resurrection because we know the end of the story. But try and put yourself in the place of those who experience this for the very first time. Just when everything in life seems dark and dead, we see a crack of light or a bud. Now, like many of you, the big freeze made a mess of our plants. I really thought everything was dead and we'd have to plant everything new. As I walked this past weekend, though, I began to notice that, that what I thought was dead after the freeze had tiny buds, even some blooms. I experienced resurrection all around me. The Japanese magnolias are amazing. The azaleas are blooming right next to the pile of debris waiting to get picked up. Is this not our Easter story? Just when you think everything is dead, when life is dark, when over half a million people have died of COVID, when racism runs rampant, just when? God sends us a message, a message in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, a message in the bloom of an azalea or a Japanese magnolia. Do not underestimate the power of God. Do not underestimate the power of resurrection life. I make all things do. Can you not hear it? In the cold and snow of winter, there's a spring that waits to be unrevealed until its season. Something God alone can see. May our prayer this Easter be that God may give us superpower vision that we might see with new eyes what God sees. The assurance that there's a flower in every bulb that we cannot yet see. This is the mystery of God. From the past will come the future, but it holds a mystery. But friends, Easter is coming when we can experience the victory of resurrection, the promise that in all things, God is with us and makes all things new in the life, the death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Mm -hmm.